Hi, my name is Augusto Arneson. I'm a student physical therapist assistant at Miami Dade College Medical Campus. Today I'm gonna to be performing uh, range of motion for uh, wrist flexion. According to the AAOS, wrist flexion is 80 degrees. The first step is going to be to place my patient in the testing position, which I already, which I already have. The second step is going to be to move the patient through the available range of motion. Then after that, I'm going to determine the end feel, which is uh, firm. And then uh, after that step, I'm going to make a visual estimate of the available range of motion, which seems to be right about 80 degrees. Then I'm going to return the patient to the uh, starting position. The, second, the next step is going to be to uh, palpate the anatomic alarm marks. I'm gonna look to align the goniometer with the triquitrum, and then I'm going to align the proximal arm uh, with uh, the, the ulnar stylar process as a reference, and I'm gonna align that with the olecanon process as well. That's gonna be for the proximal arm. For the distal arm, I'm going to align it with the fifth metacarpal. Then after that, I'm going to align the goniometer with the anatomic alarm marks, and I'm going to read and record the starting position. It looks to be zero, then I'm going to remove the goniometer. After that, I'm gonna perform a passive range of motion. And I'm going to replace the goniometer and align with the anatomic alarm marks. The range of motion at the ending position is 80, and that's how you perform range of motion for uh, wrist flexion. Thank you.